It's the last day of my seven day vlogging challenge and everything is chaos. Camera gear everywhere, dishes piling up, plants in desperate need of care and attention. Honestly, I can't get anything done until I sort out this mess. Reaching the end of this challenge made me think about all of the things that have changed since the last time I did it, and all of the even bigger changes that are coming in the year ahead. 14 months ago I was halfway through my recovery from ACL surgery and I wasn't working. I'd reached a point where I could walk easily enough and I could spend a full day planning, shooting and editing, and I needed it because I had no idea what I was doing. This time around, I've had to balance filming and work, though I'm pretty fortunate that I only have a four day work week. 14 months ago, I'd also just started dating my partner, and these days we're planning our life together. Getting married in the summer and figuring out how we'll design our home together and balance work, life, plants, and pets. At that time, I'd filmed one video with Sune as kind of trial run to see if I could follow through on this idea of a series on artists living in Korea. Since then, I've published seven more and have more lined up for the year ahead. One of the ideas I had for this channel was to show more of the events and exhibitions and spaces in the local scene through vlogging, and I don't think I quite followed up on that. I did test out a couple of ideas for it through this challenge, so let me know if you found it interesting. Overall, I'm excited about what I can make in the year ahead, though I still have a lot to learn about making videos. Outside of videos, I felt a little more active this year, though I lost most of the summer to surgery. I started off back home in Ireland, which was the second time I got home in three years. I spent quality time with family and my best friend Debbie. I went to shows, exhibitions and other events just to enjoy them. I took a lot of photos, including a short-lived portrait series that I liked and experimented with a lot of different types of film and photo styles. I made the decision to end Angle Magazine due to burnout and as I healed from that, there was a sense of freedom that led me to planning new and different events, including photo walks and an exhibition. 2023 was a fantastic year, and 24 promises to be even better. Thanks to all of you who have watched these videos, everyone who's participated in my events, and everyone who keeps encouraging me along the way. I also love how big 2023 was for so many of my friends. Let's keep that success going. That's day seven of seven. Challenge is finished. Back to regular programming.